We have been in the house for 56 years. Who has the right to kick me out of my house and have them sit in it? Who has the right? Maisoun Rawi is one of 55 Palestinians evicted by the Israeli authorities from their homes in East Jerusalem's Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood in 2009. The eviction was carried out after the families lost a long legal battle. The same day, Jewish settlers moved in. Orthodox Jews claim ownership of the land. They also believe that a nearby site is the ancient tomb of Simeon the Just, a Jewish high priest. No, the government say that the, the, these houses was our before. So now the Jews come here. Do you think you can live in peace with your Palestinian neighbors? Of course. We want, we want just peace, not, not the sentinels. This Israeli lawyer said the court's ruling was based on documents proving Jewish ownership. Decisions of the court I are to my full satisfaction uh, are according to law and not according to any uh, political aspiration. Other lawyers disagree. Sometimes the law is an ass. It is legal for Jews to recover property in East Jerusalem. It is not legal for Palestinians to recover properties in West Jerusalem. That means that the law is unequal to the task of determining how Israelis and Palestinians should live in Jerusalem. Six months after the eviction in midwinter, Maisoon spends most of her time protesting across the street in a tent. The sidewalk is as close as they can get to their home, now draped in Israeli flags. The Palestinian Authority is housing the family in another Jerusalem neighborhood for a year until they find a solution. The house that I rented is a temporary house. It does not come in the place of my home because my home is priceless. I got it only because of the weather to shelter my children. We are here only at night. All day long from the morning until the evening, I am in the tent with my children. Back on the street, having lost their home, they are now battling even to keep their tent, which has been removed several times by the Israeli authorities. My son tries to stay optimistic, despite the obstacles. A person still has hope, even though that hope is very, very small. To achieve all you want for you and your children, security, stability, dreams, memories, everything, everything. This is Reem Makhul for the New York Times in Sheikh Jarrah, East Jerusalem.